Germany will run against world record holder Yarmila Kratokvilova of Czechoslovakia in the 400 meter run. Meter race. The world record is held by Jarmila Kratofilova of Czechoslovakia, set in her historic performance at the World Championships two years ago. American record set by Valerie Briscoe Hooks in her gold medal winning performance at the Olympic Games. This may well be our last look at Jarmila Kratofilova, the 34 year old Czechoslovakian woman who startled the world when she won both the 400 and 800 meter races, breaking world records in both at the World Championships in Helsinki two years ago. As Catherine Switzer told you at the top of our program today, she is not the same runner now that she was then, but her imprint on the sport is unmistakable. Nevertheless, the favorite in the event is the woman in lane two, who will rank in history somewhere right up there with or above Kritok Bilova, and that is Marita Koch of East Germany, 28 years old, trying for her third victory of this meet. And earlier, she ran one of the best 200-meter races in the history of the sport. Here is how Marty LaCourie and I called it immediately after her blistering start out of the blocks in that race. Brilliant start by Marita Koch on the inside, who has already eaten up the field on the stagger. What an effort this could be. She comes off the turn way ahead of the field. Remember, the world record is 21.71. In the middle, Grace Jackson is moving into second place. On the outside, here comes the Soviet woman. Koch touches in a very fast time, under 22 seconds. And earlier in this program, you saw her victorious come from behind anchor leg in the 4x400 meter relay. Marita Koch will be in lane two. Yarmila Kratov-Bilova will be in lane seven. There are two other women certainly worth watching. Vladikina of the Soviet Union in lane one. Lily Leatherwood of the United States out in lane eight. Vladikina in one is the woman whom Koch passed on the last leg of the four by 400 meter relay. And Jim, it's too bad she has lane one because she is really the only person that can otherwise challenge this field and has to take consolation from the fact that possibly she can outrun Kratov-Bilova. All right, as they come out of the blocks, Yarmila has gotten a good start out in lane seven. Marita Koch has gotten a brilliant start once again in lane two. She is making up the stagger on the field at an astonishing pace down the backstretch. Look at Marita Koch go. She's fantastic, the fastest 200 meter speed in the race, and she can sustain it. Maybe the greatest all around woman sprinter of all time. She ran the first 200 meters in just about 22.4. Remember, the world record is 47.99, and this is not so much a race as a royal procession. As Marita Koch comes off the last turn alone, it would be a surprise if Vladikina could get very close to her. The crowd is standing and roaring for one of the greatest individual performers ever in women's track and field, and she's broken the world record. An astonishing performance by Marita Koch, who probably, in effect, Catherine, broke that world record in the first 100 meters of the race. Absolutely. She was so fast out of the blocks. She has the ability to sustain the sprint, to get all the way through without going into oxygen debt. Total control, relaxation, and this tops an incredible series of races for her here today and this weekend. Her performance here in this meet is every bit as great as was Kratok Bilobas at Helsinki two years ago. She has given these people something to remember, and they're rewarding her for it right now. The secret to the 400 meters is controlled relaxation, the ability to sustain the sprint, and here she's done it right from the blocks, Jim. She's coming off, and look at the arm motion. This is a classic study in sprint running for women. She can pump those arms, lift those legs, and take that sprint right into the finish. As you suggested, Vladikina did indeed finish second ahead of Kratok Bilova and ran very close to the world record herself. But Marita Koch has run a full second faster than her original world record in the event set at Turin in the European Cup back in 1979. She's not getting older. She's getting better. There's a look at the final results. Koch, Vladikina. Lily Leatherwood of the United States, 21 years old from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, got third. It was, as Catherine Switzer suggested it might be, a sad and ironic departure from the sport for Jamila Kratopilova of Czechoslovakia. Marita Koch rarely conducts interviews with Western reporters, but right now Donna Deverona has a rare opportunity. In one short sentence in English, were you coming here to set the world record? You hoping for that? Yes, I hope it's a little bit. <laughs> well, you brought fabulous thrills to the audience here and certainly the United States. And uh, a great victory for you. And congratulations on the world record. Thank you. Okay. I have, I have a, an Olympic pin here that was made for the Olympians in the United States. Because I was an Olympian in swimming. 
And we, whenever we meet athlete to athlete, we like to share pins. So I'd like you to have this. There are moments in any international sports event which rise above the level of business as usual. That woman has just given us and this crowd one up.